Port Adelaide Faithful. Here we are in the middle of the Adelaide Oval during the off-season, but it's for a great cause. We are raising money today for the SA Bushfire Appeal. It is the Bushfire T20 Showdown. We're here before a ball is bowled to check out the pitch. Uh, now, I'm not wearing the uh, the off-white or the bone. This is a, a little bit uh, greyer than the Richie Benno jacket, but uh, let's check out the pitch as we see it. Uh, of course, the strikers played in their final last night. It uh, was slightly unsuccessful, but the pitch looks like it's held up reasonably well there. Uh, cameraman, if you come up this way, uh, we've still got a little bit of light smattering of grass through. No real cracks, uh, which is good. Uh, hopefully the pitch will play pretty true for the players and we've uh, we've got a group of them just getting a feel for the ground down here at the moment uh, let's see if we can't uh, hit a couple of them up hammer Yo, hammer uh, mate uh, we're he out here having a bit of an inspection of the pitch before the game uh, how are you feeling about it all uh, looking at the empty stadium right now uh, not too bad at the moment but once it's the um, the seats start filling up a bit I think we'll get a bit more nervous even Seeing a few crows and power guernsey on, yeah. on the way in um, sort of brought the nerves on a little bit, but it's all for a good cause and um, the pitch is looking in, in pretty good nick, especially considering we're used to playing on things that are more like this. I was going to say, a lot of the boys uh, play for Grange in yep. the C grade. Uh, a couple of small differences today. Yeah, a little bit. Um, <laughs> obviously, the um, yeah, the condition that the ground is, there's certainly value for your shots out here. Yep. Um, yeah, the pitch is in a little bit better nick than what we're used to, so... Uh, no, things are shaping up well, so it's going to be a good day, I think. That sound makes it just a touch more familiar. Mate, have you had much of a chat about tactics? Uh, each player today getting a free hit to start their innings. Are you just going to go whooshka straight up? Well, I actually considered sort of shouldering the arms just to really <laughs> get the eye in, just to see what the um, the pitch is doing, what the balls are doing. So uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. But I reckon um, you'd be silly not to take advantage of a free hit first ball. Um, I think... The only tactic the boys have got in mind at the moment is just to get off the mark and don't make, you look, don't make yourself look too stupid by making a duck. So um, that's about it at the moment. Now, mate, uh, TJ actually missed the draft the other day, which put you right in uh, the eye of all the supporters that were hoping to get a couple of the strikers, the Redbacks, the Scorpions players. Do you have a lot more uh, empathy for Jason Cripps and the recruiting team now? <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. There's a lot, <laughs> yeah. a lot of pressure uh, on the shoulders. Uh, a couple of afternoons ago when the draft was going on, but um, no, we're very happy with our selections. Obviously, got the experience of Chatty Sayers just over, over here. There, yeah. um, he's gonna, he's gonna, uh, you know, provide some some pretty handy uh, bowling options for us. Uh, you know, Sarah Lowe, she's a handy all rounder as well. And then we've got um, you know Harry Nielsen, Phil Salt, who can hit a big ball, and uh, of course Travis Head as well. So I think we've recruited well. Uh, we're, we might be a bit light on in the bowling department, but um, we'll try and make do with what we got. Hammer, good luck today, mate. Uh, it's it's going to be a great day and raise the money for a good appeal. Thanks, Damon. Power supporters, hopefully the boys can get up today in the pre-season showdown of sorts here at the Adelaide Oval.